Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be making a mermaid dream catcher, so let's get started. So I started off with this 8 inch uh, hoop. It's the same one that I used for the unicorn dream catcher. Um, I purchased it at Walmart and these are some of the ribbons that I will be incorporating for the bottom. If you would like to see how I wrapped the string around the hoop, check out the unicorn video for a reference. For each of these ribbons, I cut each piece uh, 32 inches long, so one side is going to be uh, 16 inches, and then I fold it in half, and then you grab the top portion of the ribbon, forming a U. Then you pass it over the top and put the two sides of the bottom in through the, the loop, and you do this until you finish incorporating all of your ribbons at the bottom. So what I did here was that I just alternated colors. I just made sure that the, I didn't have any like blue, two blues next to each other or purples. You know, just um, mixing different colors. I used um, lavenders, purples, teals, minty blues, golds, and like an iridescent white. These ribbons were purchased from Hobby Lobby and Walmart. And I try to stick with like thin ribbons or trims. I also incorporated yarn and I also purchased it from Walmart. Next, I added some of these rhinestone beads. They're called bubblegum beads. Um, these are 20 mm and there's a few 35 mm. You can find these on Etsy. Or I will also be leaving a link at, down in the description of a group, Facebook group that I'm currently starting. And I will be selling some of these beads on there as well as other embellishing and other accessories as well. So the next thing that I used was a polymer clay um, pick. I used it to run the ribbon through the bead hole. And you can pretty much use anything, um, anything that will fit through the hole. There's also um, those, what is it, those, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but it's one of those um, sticks to make the bead holes thicker. You can find them in like in the beads, beading section at Walmart or at Joann's. You can also use that. Anything that's going to help you, you know, just run the, the ribbon through the hole. So the bead, th the bead thing that I was talking about, it's called a bead reamer. So if you guys um, are interested in one of those, it's in the beading section at Walmart, and I know they also carry them at Joann's. So this is what it looks like once you put all your ribbon and beads together. Then I will add these feathers. These were purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'll be incorporating the greens, the blues, the purples, the golds, and the teals. So what I did here, I was just taking out the ones that I will be using. Um, I'm 
going to be using green, purple, blue, white, and gold. So what I did here was first I started adding the feathers on the strands that had the beads on them and I just made sure that you know I wasn't clumping similar colors together. So I did a white with the teal tip on this one and this is how it should look once you add all of your feathers at the bottom. I know it looks kind of messy right now, but once it's all assembled, it will look better. So now for the embellishing portion, I added these shabby chic flowers. These are from Amazon. So when looking these up on Amazon, just type in shabby chic and then shabby chic flowers and then you'll get a lot of different outcomes and then you can just pick the ones that are um, for your need, you know, some are cheaper, but you buy more of them. The seashells that I used for this video were purchased from Hobby Lobby. However, I know that I've seen these also at Dollar Tree or um, Walmart. I know it has them too. As for these mermaid tails, I will also have these under my Facebook group. There's also um, other colors if you guys are interested. The starfish and the sand dollars are purchased from Hobby Lobby and they were about $4.99 each one. I also used these hairpins but I took off the little embellishing flower. Um, these I don't remember where I got these but um, I'll also have some of these on my Facebook group if anybody is interested. As for these little embellishing pearls and little flowers that I've used towards the end of this um, video, I will have these on my Facebook group. Um, most of these are just purchased random at random places, so it's not like 
um, a specific website or anything like that. Um, I might have a few on hand. I don't have a lot on stock, but if you guys are interested, check out my Facebook group. Then I will be adding some of these iridescent rhinestone uh, beads on random places. Um, these are 20 mm's and I purchased these from, I don't remember the website, but I will link it down below. So this is how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know any suggestions or comments you guys might have down in the comments section. And don't forget to like it if you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I will be posting a few more videos after this one. I've been away so I haven't been posting um, consecutively. But I will do my best to add a few more. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And thanks again for watching.